Hello and welcome to the podcast BFI Talks, which is brought to you by Prague Finance Institute and the leading Czech economics research center, Serge EI. It is my pleasure to welcome Karel Horák, the CEO of Home Credit Bank Kazakhstan. Hello. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. The year 2020 has been about the pandemic. When was the mo- What was the moment, a particular moment that you can remember when you realized that things are not going to be the way they used to be? Uh, there was not such a single moment, I have to admit, because there was nothing like after 9-11 when all the Americans remember where they were at the moment when they found out that there was an attack. So I don't have such a single or particular moment when I found out. But I remember that already I noticed the first news about it at the end of uh, 2019. And then on the business level, we started to talk about it in early January this year, simply because in our group, we have China and it all started from there. So we already saw some first impacts or uh, effects of this pandemic onto the business. So we started to discuss what and how it can influence our business going so forward. So even before it was proclaimed a pandemic? Yes, yes. We started to discuss it in the in this sense. Of course, unless or until it um, materializes, you never understand properly what it means. But the first chats or talks that there is something going on different from the previous SARS, MERS or swine flu, we suddenly started to understand that, wow, there is something going on. So perhaps we need to get ready. Mm -hmm. So what were the first measures that you've decided to take? The first measures uh, started to be implemented sometime in early uh, March, but the real lockdown impacted Kazakhstan in mid or in second half of of March, where when all the measures were suddenly applied and the impact on the overall economy or on the overall country was really sudden. Mm -hmm. Well, on that particular thing, your your kind of business is also very dependent on call centers. What did you do with call centers when you actually, when your staff couldn't, couldn't get to work? That's that's right. That's right. And we had to react really, really fast. And it's not only a matter of Kazakhstan. I know about these cases also in other countries, but particularly in Kazakhstan, we simply supported our, our employees to be able to work from home. So if they didn't have the proper hardware, we provided them with the hardware. And we also helped them to be able to connect remotely with all the relevant system to ensure that the, the customer's data are secure, that they have proper connection to our telephony systems, that they can really do their job on a reasonable level, uh, and so on and so forth. So we really helped them to, to to be able to work from home remotely. And within two or you know, one or two weeks, we were able to uh, ensure that uh, more than 50% of our operators were able to work from home. Because in Kazakhstan, same as in Russia, home credit operates as a bank. So it is a full-fledged retail bank. What did you have to do on the on the banking side of the business? We have many responsibilities to our clients. So it's not only about tightening uh, the the pipes uh, for the for the credits. We really have had to provide all the service to our clients. Uh, 24-7 in terms of uh, payment systems, in terms of uh, cards, in terms of deposits, uh, in terms of uh, other banking services. So suddenly we had to provide it via uh, our mobile application, not only via our branches, simply because the branches were physically closed. Mm-hmm. Because Kazakhstan, same as Russia to uh, to some extent, uh, is a is a is a fairly highly dollarized economy. Were there any restrictions on converting uh, uh, funds from Tenge to the Kazakhstani currency to dollar and, and back? Yes, the, the impact on the local currency, Kazakh Tenge, was quite severe at the first phase of the lockdown uh, because it devaluated by more than 20%. So the central bank was quite cautious about any big conversions between these two currencies. Uh, so they really control it and they applied some measures how much per day each bank can convert from one currency to another. 
not to go crazy with, with the local currency and not, not to uh, kill it completely. Do you think that the life is going to go back to pre-pandemic normal or do you think we will have to actually get used to the new normal? Well, what is a normal? Yeah, it's it's a nice word now many people are using, but uh, normal it's a continuous development or evolution. So uh, there is a new reality and we have to all get used to it. And uh, perhaps if I can make a little joke, if we want to know when this all will be over, we can ask the Kazakh experts. What because <laughs> I remember at the beginning, uh, was second half, let's say, or mid-March this year, and uh, there was an official article on the newspaper from the Kazakh experts Uh, and the question was, when do you expect the first infected uh, citizen of Kazakhstan? Because there wasn't... There wasn't, uh, up until then, there was no official infection in Kazakhstan at all. So there was a question, when do you expect it? And it was, let's say, 16th of March. And they said, we expect the first uh, infected person in Kazakhstan on the 18th of March, plus minus a week. So we were always joking that they already know, yeah? Uh, so perhaps we can ask them when this is all over. Yeah? But when are we gonna come back to normal? <laughs> exactly. So, but jo- jo- jokes aside, uh, no one really knows. If if we knew, then uh, the life would be easier. But uh, we don't know how how it's all gonna uh, end up because it's a continuous development, com- continuous evolution. And uh, I even in this situation, I believe the Darwin's theory can be easily applied because. You must be agile. You must be able to uh, adapt to new circumstances, to new reality. And only those who will be the most flexible and most adaptive, they will survive and they'll be successful. So what is the key lesson that you've learned this year from all the events surrounding the pandemic? Be ready. Be always ready. Because some unexpected should be expected. Says Karel Horak, the CEO of Home Credit Bank Kazakhstan. Thank you very much for invited, uh, taking taking up on our invitation to be part of this podcast. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me here.